guys, it's Sage here, and I'm here today with a couple tips on some new stick tricks. We all want to be Travis Barker doing the twirly twirlies and the flippity flippities. A lot of the stick tricks are old and tired, okay? Everybody's doing them, and you want to blow minds. All right, so put yourself in a club. You're rocking out, you're doing your thing, you're shredding the kit, and you look over and you see a group of kids, and they're looking right at you, and you want to blow mine. You don't want to go for the old faithful twirly twirly that they can all probably do. You want to do something that's both a stick trick and a bit of a magic trick. So here we go. This is a bit of an optical illusion. It happens so fast that nobody even knows what they're looking at. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're at the club and you're shreddy shreddy, and you're ending a big old rock and fill, and you go to land your crash symbol like you would, but instead of the symbol, hitting the crash symbol, it's going to go all the way through the crash symbol and you're going to pull it back through and there's not going to be any crash noise. And then you're going to crash it and everyone's going to be like, whoa, how did he do that? Well, here's the trick. You use this bad boy right here, take this stick and you're going to saw it in half. Now remember, this is going to happen so quickly that nobody's even going to know. You're just sawy, sawy, you got to get, got to get in there into the grain, you know? Huh. Being stubborn. Yeah, they're usually not quite so stubborn. Usually I can solve through them a little bit easier. Remember, this is going to happen faster than anybody even realizes. Now, I should probably be keeping a closer eye on what I'm cutting. Alrighty, kind of uh, nicked myself there a bit. Sorry there, we're going to get right. Still got a good quality thumb here. Kind of pinch on it. So we're going to just keep on, going to keep on chipping away. Just got to, got to keep on getting in there, you know? Boy, it's a little, it's a little tougher than I remember. Oh, I probably should have pre-cut this guy. Come on. Let's try to get a fresh angle. Ugh, starting to get a little bit of blood on the stick. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. That cut there could have gone a little better. You know, but nobody said blowing mine and rocking out was easy. Can't really get a good grip with you know, without fingertips. Oh, this would be easier if I had fingertips. Okay, there we go. Now that's not too difficult. Now remember, that can be accomplished pretty quickly. So the effect that we're going with stings. Oh, I think I got a splinter right in the right in the wound. Okay, so you're ending your fill, and you're gonna have this stick right here, and no one's gonna see it. Okay, starting to. Maybe it's starting to clot up a little. All right, so you're you're doing your fill, tippity tappity. Oh boy, okay. And you're gonna, gonna throw what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw this stick down. Oh, you gotta pick up this one with the stick. And what's happening is that, of course, we've sawed the front of the stick off. You don't actually have, you know, a stick. So it's just gonna go clear through. Now all the kids in the front are gonna be like, <gasps> you know, with less blood, of course. Okay, and uh, you're gonna bring it back up. We're not gonna grab the stick we threw because that's probably rolled off the stage and we can't get to it. So what we're going to do, uh, take the other stick and any kind of tape. In this case, we have medical tape for obvious reasons. It would be good if I had fingernails or finger tips. Well, I've still got a good thumb on this hand. Oh, it's stuck in my gauze. Essentially, we're just going to tape the stick back together, you know, using as many fingers as we have left. There we go. Voila. We're good to go. Now, you might think, well, Sage, that looks a little weak for a drumstick, but we don't actually ever hit the drums. We'll get into that in further lessons. But you're not actually going to do any damage. You know, any table where it's okay if it's a little bit wibbly wobbly. You know, everyone's too far away to see that. Their minds are, <sighs> their minds are too blown by it, you know. <sighs> and, you know, it's fine. Okay. Rock and roll, you know. And you just... Duh. 